Well, after a marathon, nearly 24 hour debate, a bill that would drastically slash abortion access in South Carolina has just cleared a major hurdle. The state's House of Representatives passed a six week abortion ban tonight after starting their debate yesterday afternoon. State House reporter Mary Green was there for it all and has the details. It's a win today for all the babies that are yet to be born. No one, especially the 170 members of the General Assembly, who by the way are comprised mostly of men, should stand between a woman and her doctor. In a vote largely along party lines in the House of Representatives, a months long stalemate between Republicans over abortion restrictions may have broken. The House approved a bill that has already passed the Senate and would ban most abortions in South Carolina after about six weeks, the time before opponents argue many women know they're pregnant. It would allow limited exceptions to save the mother's life for sexual assault victims and when the fetus has a fatal anomaly that would prevent it from surviving outside the womb. Murder is murder. If something's alive and it's growing and it stops, it's dead now. Abortion is currently legal in South Carolina before about 20 weeks into a pregnancy, one of the least restrictive abortion laws in the Southeast. House Republicans had previously resisted taking up this six week ban, arguing it didn't go far enough. But they changed their course of action after multiple attempts in the state Senate to pass tighter restrictions failed. So now the only possible path forward to prevent our state from becoming an abortion destination state in the southeast is to pass the heartbeat bill again. Democrats filed nearly 1,000 amendments on the bill, which extended the debate to nearly 24 hours over the course of two days with just one break. Republicans voted down all of those amendments. They voted for women to have to carry their rapist babies, voted for women to give birth to dead babies, and voted for 10 year olds to become mothers. House members did make some changes to this bill from what the Senate originally passed. So next it'll be up to senators to decide if they'll accept these changes and send the bill as it is to the governor or if they'll try to work out a compromise. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.